What's good YouTube? Welcome to the first part of the video of the sneaker creation where we're taking inspiration from the Ferrari and creating a sneaker. So today we'll be going over the 2D aspect of this and drawing and actually, you know, putting the ideas on paper. You feel me? First, we're going to work on the idealization. So we're going to do some loose sketches and stuff like that. We're not going to be very detailed. First, we're going to work on the silhouette. Because if you ever notice, the silhouette is one of the most important things about the sneaker. You feel me? That's how you recognize it from miles away, you know. So that's why we're going to start off with the silhouette. Then we're going to go down into the refinement. And then we're going to go down to the final details and coloring. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So let's jump into it. All right, guys. So you already know what's going on. We're going to start off with the silhouette. We're keeping this nice, loose. You know, not not getting too much into the detail. You want to do these very, very quickly and loosely, you know. Just get a general idea of how we want the shoe to be represented, how we want it to be presented. And also making proportions. Also making sure that the proportions are right where you need them. So I wanted to do these in four quadrants, so I did about three times so I did about 20 of these sketches and then I moved on into the refinement area so after this process I just went over and deleted the ones that weren't the best and I picked five you know I, I just wanted it to limit it to five pairs only and from the five we're gonna go in and just clean these bad boys up so these ones right here are very interesting I started to recognize that I was going repetitive, repetitive, so I didn't do the last one, so I only refined four pairs. So after the refinement process, I ended up picking these. So right here, now we're gonna go into the details and how we wanna shape the shoe. So right here, we got four designs that I took. I, I ended up going with this one. I felt it looked more sporty-ish than the other one, so this is the one that we're gonna stick with. So right here, I'm moving to the front view, and you're probably wondering why I use boxes. The reason why I use boxes is so that the proportion from the side to the front to the back are all proportionate, proportionately related to each other. Because if not, what I notice when you're modeling, you're gonna have these inconsistencies within the drawings, which means there's gonna be inconsistencies with your 3D. sole of the shoe just trying out different things make sure that as i quoted before make sure that the proportions are right Now we're gonna move on to the back. The back was very tricky by the side view. So it took me a while to figure out how I actually wanted the back to play out. So right now 
now we're just going over some basic color schemes i didn't do too much i just wanted a simple color schemes which were black red and white and gold these almost look better than the ferrari 14s comment in the comment section below if you think that these were better than the Ferrari 14s. What I'm doing here, right here is just making sure that when I go into 3D, I know what parts of the shoes deeper than the rest. That's why there's a shadow to indicate that basic coloring um i actually thought that the all red was looking better than the other one so i just made two colorways now we're moving on to the front i actually really like the front because it had the ferrari logo which you know just brought the shoe together So got the front done, got the sides done, now we're moving on to the back and then onto the sole. So the inspiration from the back was really just to cap the spoilers. So now that we're done with the sketching, with the idealization, and with the coloring, now I'm just prepping them so when I take them into 3D, they all line up. Thank you so much for checking out this video of the 2D aspect of the shoe. I hope to see you guys in the modeling portion where we're gonna take the 2D sketches and bring them into Blender 3D, which is a 3D open software. If you do not know about it, it's a free open software where you can do a lot of 3D design. So we're going to take that shoe and we're going to bring it to life through the computer. So I hope to see you guys in that. And one last thing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, have a blessed year.